Okay, so this is just um, a little bit of information on the actual ophthalmoscope and what the different areas are. So this area up here is the viewing window. This is the filter switch. This is the aperture dial. Um, and the sides here are the diopter dials. So they're on both sides. Then this is the rheostat. So the rheostat is what we use to actually turn the light on and off. So that's the intensity. So I'm going to flip this over. Um, this is the brow rest. So that's actually what rests on your face and this is what you're going to look through. And then down here is the diopter doctor, um, window. So if I turn on through the rheostat, if I turn on the light that shines through there, you can see that it's set to zero. Um, there are other settings. So there's red and green. So green is positive. Um, and they're used to focus in on um, more anterior structures uh, or um, different parts of the eye. So zero is what we're gonna use here. Um, so going back to the other side here, I'm going to use the filter switch. So this is what's going to give me um, different window sizes and color. So let's go to here. So this one has a grid and then that goes to the largest setting, medium and small. So for a patient that's had their eyes dilated, um, so there were pupils dilated, um, it's going to stay open. So the light hitting that pupil isn't going to allow it to react and constrict the same way. So you use the largest um, setting here so that you're able to have a larger viewing window um, to the back of the eye. Uh, for a patient that hasn't had their pupil dilated, this won't work because it will constrict the pupil. So for those patients, you can use the medium or the small. Um, for a dog like mine, I think the medium should work. We're going to view her retina in a dark um, room, so that also will help her pupil stay dilated without the use of medication. And the other thing we can do is make sure that the rheostat isn't set to the highest intensity. So uh, it goes from off basically up to the highest. So this is for um, allowing the pupil to stay as dilated as possible so that we have a good viewing window to the back of the eye, but it's also so that it's comfortable for the patient. So you should choose um, a setting that would be comfortable for you to look into without causing you um, some distress and think of it that way. So something in on the lower intensity. I'm gonna turn it back up just to show you the filter settings. So the other one that we haven't gone to is this one. This is the cobalt um, light setting. And this is the setting that you need to be using for um, looking at your cornea when you're doing the fluorescein dye stain so that you can see the uptake of the stain on the cornea. So this cobalt setting is the only light that should be used um, to be able to look for that dye uptake. These ones you may be able to see, um, but it won't be as obvious for those um, scratches or uh, ulcers that aren't very, very noticeable. Um, this is also should be done in a dimly lit room so you can really see the fluorescing of the stain. So cobalt, that one needs to be used for your fluorescein dye stain. Um, there's also this slit one and on some other um, ophthalmoscopes, there is another setting that's uh, a green light. We don't have that one in this one. So those are the basic features of the ophthalmoscope and um, why they are there and what they're used for. Um, so I hope that gives you a little bit more insight.